Hi, I'm Bruce Busby, president of Roots Magic. And in this short video, we're going to show one of the new features in Roots Magic 11 uh, called the Life Summary. And the Life Summary is actually just a really neat way to be able to uh, view a lot of information about a person all at once and to be able to, to make some uh, changes to be able to edit. Uh, that person and some of their family connections all in one place. So let's just jump right in. Now, the life summary is going to actually show up in multiple places, uh, but the first place that you'll probably notice it is right here on the main uh, people view. And the it's going to be over here in the side panel, over here in that side panel, and it's going to be the second tab, life summary. So you're going to select that life summary and it's going to show you right here. This is the life summary, this panel right here. Now the life summary is actually made up of three different sets of information. The first information are the details about that person. So that's going to be um, all of their events, their associations, their alternate names, all of that kind of information right here. The second section is going to be a list of their spouses and children. Um, the header for this is actually going to show you how many spouses the person has. A little shortcut there. So this person has one spouse. Um, the third section is going to be parents and siblings. And again, that's going to also show you how many sets of parents this person has. So it's not counting father and mother separately. It's how many sets of parents. Now, each one of these sections is collapsible. So for example, if I wanted to click on this, I can actually collapse them all if I wanted and just see the basic, there's one spouse and there's one set of parents. And as I move around, you know, I can see, oh, this person has two spouses. So it's a kind of an easy way to, to spot that type of thing. And then you could expand it out and you could see spouse one and spouse two, each with their children. Now, when you collapse one of these sections, it's going to remain collapsed uh, until you uncollapse it. And that includes if you when you exit the program and come back in. If you've collapsed a section, it's going to remain collapsed. Uh, so that's really nice. Let's say you wanted to kind of move around your screen and see the spouses and children. Um, but if depending on how many details you have, that could be pushed down down lower so you can collapse that and then while that's collapsed just move around and since it stays collapsed you're going to see the spouses and children right there for every single person and then when you want to see the details you just pop it back open again. Now the details section is basically a display so it's going to show you the dates the places uh, that type of information. The spouses section and the parents section, in addition to being a display of all of those family members, the, all the immediate family members for this person, um, will also have some functionality where you can make, actually modify data. So for example, if I'm looking at this person right here, uh, Moses, and I can see he's got two spouses, Grace and Isabella, and then the children under each one of those. Well, I also have the ability to do things like add a child. And if I click add child, it's going to allow me to add a child to this family, to this specific family. It knows which family. So for example, if I scroll down, this family right here has its own add child, which would add a child to that family. I also can rearrange the children in each of the families. So if I click rearrange children, it shows me all the children for that specific family where I can drag and drop them or I can select one and move them up or down. I can sort by the birth date. Basically, once I get the children in the order I want, click OK, and the children will rearrange, not just in this life summary, but within the program as a whole. Uh, there's also some functionality if you want to add another spouse to this person, just click Add Spouse and it's going to add a spouse to Moses. Um, if the person has more than one spouse, as they do in this case, uh, there will also be a, an option to rearrange spouses and it'll allow you to rearrange those spouses in whatever order you want. If the person only has one spouse, you won't see that because you can't rearrange one spouse. Now those are also available, similar are available 
in the parent and sibling section. You can add a sibling. If you have multiple sets of parents, it will add the sibling to the proper family. Um, the person themselves, Moses in this case, will show up as a child in the parent sibling so that you can see where they, where he or she fits within that family. You know, they were the third child or whatever. You can see where they fit within the child hierarchy. Uh, you can also rearrange the children uh, this all that person and their siblings as well or you can add a second set of parents if you'd like uh, you you might also notice that uh, anybody that is color coded they will show up as the with the color coding in here as well so you can that becomes available as a tool as well here now if you also notice over here on the right every one of these people in the life summary has a little drop down menu a little three dot menu and if you click on that you're going to see you have four options and these four options are available for every single one of these people in the life summary. You can go to the person, you can edit the person, unlink or delete. So go, let's say for example, I wanted to come down here and I wanted to go to uh, his sibling, Joseph. Well, I would click on Joseph's menu and I would say go. And now I've just jumped to Joseph. You'll see right up here I'm on Joseph and the life summary has changed to Joseph's life summary. Now if I'm doing this just because I want to kind of go in and see some details real quick but then want to go back to the original person there's two ways I can do that either I can find them because they'll be in here since they're an immediate relative they will be in here somewhere so I would go down and in this case find Moses and then I could go back to him but there's a shortcut and that is the two little history buttons back and forward those up here those will go back to the previous person or people you were looked at you can go multiple steps and so if I just click on that that back boom I've just gone back to the person that I was looking at originally okay so that's just a quick a quick way that if I'm if I'm moving through uh, people and go in, you know clicking on go to that's just a quick back way to get right back to where I was, just clicking back. Um, second, I, second option is edit person. That simply opens up their edit screen. So that's the same as going and finding them out here uh, within one of these people views and double clicking on them. Uh, that, but the advantage of this, it lets you just pop through and edit any f immediate family member uh, right from here. The third option, unlink the person. And unlink the person basically will let you unlink that person from the family that they're displayed in right here. So for example, if I were to go, um, if I was to go to a ch his child right here and say unlink that this person, unlink Freelon, it's going to ask me about unlinking him from his parents, which is the context right here. If I were to do that unlink from his spouse, it's asking, do you want to unlink her from her spouse? So it understands the context. The same thing down here with the, with the, you know, sibling. You know, do you want to unlink the sibling from the parents? And that includes the person themselves. If I if I select this person, I'm on Vinaya. If I select that person and say unlink, it's asking actually asking me, do you want to unlink him from his parents right here? So. Uh, that it takes care of all of that. And the final one is just delete a person that just removes the person completely from the file. So be careful with that one. Okay, so there, as I mentioned, there's several places that you'll see this, this life summary panel. One of these will be is uh, if, you're, if you're doing something that uses this Roots Magic Explorer. In this case, I'm, I've selected a particular command and it's, and it's asking me to select people. You'll see this particular list in reports and a bunch of other places. But this life summary panel is now used as the display for each person as you're going through deciding who you want to check or uncheck. Uh, the life summary panel is being used there. Now, since it's basically just asking you to select people, the command functionality is not in here. In this case, it really is just a display. So you don't have the ability when you're supposed to just be selecting people, you don't have the ability to add spouses or children or rearrange or any of that. You basically are just seeing what information is available for you to make that selection. Now, another place that's um, 
that this life summary is used, which is really powerful, is in the search. And this is good for either the basic or the advanced search. I'm just going to do the basic search. And I'm just going to say search for Harris, everybody whose last name is Harris. And in the past, um, your results of a search, whether it was basic or advanced, was just this list of the results. What we've done is we've added the life summary over here. So as you highlight a person in your results, you can see all of the details about that person, including alternate names and so on. You can see all of their family members. But what's really great is you can also see, uh, you can also perform any of those things. You can go to a person, that means jump to the person up in the over in the people view. You can edit the person, you can unlink or delete them from here. You can rearrange and add children and spouses and parents. You can do all of those same things I did previously showed you right here from these search results. So anyway, so that is a, uh, a an overview of this new life summary panel. So I hope you find this useful and 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 are able to to get some good use out of this and we will talk to you again soon.